Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So speaking of topics, what we're going to be going over today is how to find the area and perimeter of a parallelogram. So a parallelogram is just a four-sided shape that is made up of two sets of equal sides. So a parallelogram is like a rectangle that has just been slanted in one direction. So it's like taking the top of the rectangle and pushing it to the side. So with the two sets of equal sides, what that means is that we have 15 centimeters here for the bottom. That means that we are 15 centimeters here at the top. And the slanted side over here is 12 centimeters long. That means that this slanted side over here is 12 centimeters long. So the area for a parallelogram is going to be very similar to the area for a rectangle. We are going to have our base times our height. Now, the base is going to be your flat side, which in this case we have the 15 centimeters, but our height is no longer the slanted side. It will be this dashed line right here from top to bottom is our height. So from top to bottom of this parallelogram, we are eight centimeters tall. So that is our height at eight centimeters. So our area is going to be 15 times eight, which gives us 120 centimeters squared. Keep in mind, the squared symbol on the unit of centimeters is representing an area calculation, an area measurement. So that is our area. So perimeter then. If you've seen previous videos on this channel, perimeter is just a simple way of saying how long does it take you to get all the way around your shape from start to finish. So perimeter will just be adding all your sides together. Since we have a four-sided shape as a parallelogram, we'll be adding four numbers together, and it's just all the sides put together. So we will have 12 centimeters for this one. Go to the next one plus 15 centimeters. Move on to the next side, which is another 12 centimeters. And then lastly, our other bottom here, which is 15 centimeters. So our perimeter total will be 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 15. And that gives us a total of 54 centimeters for our perimeter. Keeping in mind that the perimeter will have the same units as the um, numbers used to calculate the perimeter because centimeters is a distance parameter along with perimeter, which is a distance measurement. No need to square it there. So that's how you find the area and perimeter for a parallelogram. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to see other problems solved in this variety, please check out the other videos on our channel as we are trying to upload daily. Also, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because it really does help us out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.